All right, thank you so much for tuning back in. I have another uh, unfortunate story for you. I just so happened to come by. I was watching the Pascal show, if you've ever seen him. If not, don't worry, I'm going to definitely um, show a bit of his show at the end of this, so stay tuned. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest to remember to link them down below. But if you stay tuned to the end or just fast forward to the end, you'll at least be able to see his name so you can search him up. But I'm going to just jump into this and read through this. And kind of, I just want your opinion to see if you have the same sense that Pascal um, has. And I'll share a few thoughts. 14-year-old girl in dressing room of Burlington fatally shot by LAPD. LAPD officials investigate at the scene where an assault suspect was fatally shot by police at a Burlington store in North Hollywood. A 14-year-old girl was also killed. Mel Malkin... LA Times <clears throat> by Richard Rector, Gregory Yee, Richard Winston, Winton, Christian Martinez. And this was written December the 23rd, 2021. In an incident the police chief called a devastate called devastating and tragic, an LAPD officer fatally shot a teenage girl at a Burlington clothing store during a chaotic confrontation that also left a suspect dead and another person injured. The teenager the teenager was at the store in North Hollywood trying on dresses for a quinceanera, an LAPD source confirmed. Preliminary information released by the Los Angeles Police Department indicated that police rounds penetrated a wall, killing the 14-year-old girl in a dressing room. Authorities said they, that they found a metal cable next to the suspect whom police officers were confronting, but, there, but that no gun was recovered. The violence late Thursday morning, just two days, just two days before Christmas at a bustling shopping district left many people stunned and sparked questions about what prompted police to open fire. The state attorney general immediately launched a probe of the shooting. It's just absolutely heartbreaking and I cannot find words to try to comfort a mother and a family but I will ensure them and the public and our people that we will conduct and complete a thorough investigation. LAPD Chief Michael Moore, who was out of town with family but briefed on the incident, said in an interview with the Times on Thursday evening. Officers responded about 11.45 a.m. to reports of an assailant with a deadly weapon at the store near Victoria and Laurel Canyon Boulevards, according to the public, uh, to the police department. At the store, authorities encountered a man that said, they said was assaulting someone and they opened fire. According to preliminary findings by the police department, it was not immediately clear what prompted officers to shoot. The man was taken into custody and died at the scene, said officers, Officer Drake Madison, a spokesperson for the department. During a search for additional suspects or victims, an officer found the slain girl, LAPD officials said in a Twitter post. One of the officer's rounds penetrated a wall that was behind the suspect. Beyond the wall was a dressing room. Officers searched the dressing room and found a 14-year-old female victim who was struck by gunfire. The tweet from the LAPD's media relations read, Another woman was injured and taken to a trauma center, said Nicholas Prange, a spokesperson for the fire department. Her condition wasn't immediately known. Moore said police were still pulling video of the encounter, including from multiple closed circuit cameras in the store, but that it appeared the girl was in a dressing room with her mother when she was struck. <clears throat> we have a young girl who was in a dressing room behind a wall that my understanding was 
that my understanding was in the path of where the officer fired. Moore said, there is a devastating and tragic circumstance and it occurred during the actions of one of our officers. The times, the times could not be reached witness. The times could not reach witnesses inside the Burlington when the shooting occurred. Police have not identified the sus suspect of the victims. They actually have, but um, I'm not sure why this article did not include his information. William Briggs, president of the Civilian Police Commission. Um, police Commission, which reviews all police shootings and decides whether the involved officers were justified in opening fire or should face administrative sanction or punishment, also called the shooting tragic and promised it would be thorough it would be thoroughly investigated. I'm being kept apprised and and I'm being assured this is getting the highest attention in terms of investigation, Briggs said. That's what they're going through right uh, going through now. California Attorney General Rob Bonta said the State Department of Justice would investigate the shooting under rules set by a law, Assembly Bill 1506, that took effect July 1, requiring his requ requiring his office to independently investigate all fatal shootings of unarmed civilians. Preliminary investigations indicate that one of the deaths fell within the scope of AB 1506, according to a statement by Bonta's office. <clears throat> After the investigation is complete, findings will be turned over to the department's special prosecutions sections for independent reporting mm -hmm. to the statement. Moore said it did not appear that the officer who fired would have known that there was anyone behind there or that he was looking at any at anyone other than the suspect and a wall. But he said every aspect of what occurred and why would and why would be analyzed by LAPD investigators. There's not a police officer in America who would ever want this type of circumstance to occur. Moore stressed. Moore said Deputy Chief Dominic Choi was in is who is acting chief in Moore's absence was on scene and had been provided a walkthrough of the incident. At a news conference, Choi said the area behind the suspect just looks like a straight wall. Investigators, investigators continued processing the scene and hadn't found a firearm as of the afternoon, he said. A very heavy metal cable lock was found near the sus suspect. Choi said it wasn't yet clear whether the lock prompted officers to shoot. To provide full transparency, Moore said he has directed that the department compile and, and release by Monday body-worn and closed-circuit video of the incident, as well as radio calls and other available information. He said the store has an, an extensive amount of cameras installed. The full investigation... of the shooting, however, will take longer, he said. We're asking for the public and the news media as well to allow us to conduct a full investigation, Moore said. The facts will be the facts and we'll have them known. And so that is the way the story ends. Um, I will say, I'm not sure, I can't even remember now that I didn't read the thing. Oh, no, I think it did mention he did pass away. Yes, he passed away at the scene, they said, after they took him into custody. Um, I, I'm going to show you some of the footage. I'm going to see what I can do because this footage is very sensitive. You can't show most of it on um, YouTube, and I don't like to see violence. So luckily for me, Pascal does his best to skip over those parts because he wants his videos to stay shown, you know, of course. Um... And so he skips over some, so I'm going to skip over the rest. And I'm going to kind of try to just show you a gist of what. It's unfortunate said. trying to find justice for this young girl. So the officer was confronting Daniel Lopez at tw uh, 24 after he allegedly assaulted a woman with a bike lock inside the store. Uh, 
And now he's trying to hit the, the security cam. This man is clearly he's crazed, right? But here so far, I see no gun. Just so you know. Still, no matter what, what he's done is, is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's correct. No, no knife. Not, okay. No, no. I, need to, I just need to make sure, ma'am. I have to ask, okay? Is he under the influence of any alcohol and narcotics as far as you know? Yeah, most likely, yes. What's your name? Oh, no. See, this is the sad part. Oh. And your phone number? Oh, wow. He is straight up. Wow. Go. Okay. All right. We'll have an officer. Where is he? We're going to have an officer respond over oh as possible, God. okay? If anything changes, anyone needs an ambulance, take out any other weapons or anything, give us a call back, okay? Are you outside of the store now? Guy that has the gun. If he's there black, is. Why I can't show that. All right. But uh, this, as you can see, this woman is just bleeding out. Obviously, this is a a man dealing with something. Uh, he took his pants off for crying out loud, and then started running off, trying to attack all these other these other women that were in there. Right. By the way, it's like I don't see any guys. I didn't see any dudes in there. Obviously, we now know this officer's bail. And obviously, there is some heavy artillery that got brought in here. And of course, there's a lot of chaos going on right now because they all they have is the information of this crazed man running around with a bike lock, beating the crap out of innocent women. Let's be real. You saw one, two, three. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three. Did you notice? What was the dude doing? I'm just saying. Yes, this man's a crazed lunatic, right? This man's crazed. And what he's doing is terrible. And a lot of people are in... It, it, it's a bad situation, right? And yes, we want to make sure that this guy gets away... And, 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 like, they get him away from the situation so that he doesn't hurt any more people. But, rifle. Three shots. And the... Let's just roll it. Let's roll it back one more time. He rolls over. Now, I'm going to pause it again. Look. Does it look like the man's pointing a gun at this cop? Yes. Mika Miller. He's not even facing the cop here. Like, not at all. Hold on. I'll roll back just a tiny bit more. Because I need to see. I'm wondering if there was anything said to him. Was there Because we're all, we're seeing red. We're seeing all the chaos. You know what I mean? The adrenaline is pumping. But did he say anything to this guy? Hold on. No words were said. No words were said to this man. I get it. He's a piece of trash. What he was doing is unbelievable, unthinkable, right? But no commands were said to this guy. Also, he wasn't pointing anything at the cop. Not one command was said. Thank you, guys. Not one command was said. He didn't say get down on the ground. He didn't say... Nothing was said. And also on top of that, if he's looking, obviously, you know, you're going into a place blind. I'm just thinking on the side of... I'm thinking on the side of the cop for a second. You're going in here blind. You're hearing that he possibly has a gun. He obviously has a deadly weapon because he's sitting there going and hitting some woman. He see this cop sees. They all see red, red, red. There's blood on the ground. She's bleeding. She's bleeding. So some serious ish went down. What is it, right? So you pull up to the situation, and all you see is a guy with no pants on. God knows what he, what he's computing. What this cop is computing. Jones. I guess everybody's saying his name is Jones. Officer Jones. We don't know what he's you know what he's actually gathering when he sees Lopez. But he sees Lopez, and instead of him going get down on the ground. You have a whole, you have a gang of other cops behind you, all suited and booted, ready to go too. Strapped up, ready to go, ripped to go. And yet you sit there and say nothing, and fire three times into this man. Now this stray bullet goes through that wall, this very wall, and kills a fourteen-year-old girl by the name of Valentina. 
look at the situation. Re reassess. Look back at the situation here. And I'm not sitting here saying that a bike lock ain't nothing. A bike lock is some serious stuff. You see this woman down here. There's some serious damage that he did to this woman. And he was obviously up to, he was ready to do some bad, very, very bad stuff. He took his pants off. He was ready to go run around and do it at the damn fool. Real talk. But he did not have a gun. There was no words that were said to him of get down on the ground. And then one of them happened to get out through his body, go through the wall. And go and enter the chest of a 14 year old girl. And you hear the back in the background, the woman screaming, the blood curdling screams that are going on in the background. Are the mother. Most likely holding her daughter. Desperate for some help. And all this little girl wanted to do was find a dress. You hear the screaming in the background, right? I'm going to roll that back. Here we go. You hear the screaming in the background? You hear that? That's the mom. All right, so that is the end of what I have. Um, just wanted to see if anybody agreed with Mr. Pascal. Um, I'm I, I, of course, I don't have all of the facts. None of us do. We just have what's coming out right now. But I, I, it's just a little hard because I don't know how many other officers are there. But I feel like three officers could have taken this man with the... Yes, it could have caused damage. But I feel like there could have been possibly, in my opinion, a less lethal... Okay, let me ask a question. First off, first on scene, I thought, you know, supposed to take a man. Okay, maybe he wasn't the most experienced. But why was the last officer on scene allowed to take a man just because he, he stated that he had the largest weapon? I understand about creating distance between you and the suspect. Yes. But did he need that? Once you saw and you got a look, he was away from everybody. You all had the opportunity to do so many different things. I didn't see anyone discuss any plan except for let me go first. If they would have even said, okay, I'm going to have this, you have that. So they knew who had what weapon. They knew the options that were there. I, I just feel like you're giving so many options. And my other thing is, is when did they stop using rubber bullets? Why aren't rubber bullets an option anymore? I feel like, okay, tasers may not create the type of result you want and you, your life may be in danger in those seconds trying to switch from a taser to a gun but can you put rubber bullets can, can there be rubber uh, bullets in the first one to two slots i don't know i'm just gonna be keeping up with this one because you know of course like i said we don't know all of the things that went into it but it just appears that um there was just a bit more time to make a Maybe un just another decision. Not a better decision, just another decision. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.